Yes, I would like to play first. And we have a pretty bad hand. Let's mulligan this. This is a pretty good hand. Oh man, this is this is great. Uh, keep. Do we need that swamp? I don't think so. No, let's put this on the bottom. So we could put that in the graveyard. Uh, it's an instance. We cast that later. Don't have any creatures in my hand right now. Uh, the swamp and we'll pass my shortcuts uh, so before his turn's done let's put a stop there okay oh great it's the storm deck oh and I forgot ten two. awesome Ah, oh, we can steal something from his hand, though. So maybe that's a decent move to do here as well. Yes. So if he's doing a storm deck, let's look for... Well, brain freeze, obviously. Uh, what is his best storm card here? Draw three cards and then and discard two cards unless you have this. Uh... And the signet, probably there's for knowledge. Okay, and then we can pass. Do we need to entomb? Living death. Nope, Living Death is not what we want right now. Boom. Oh! S don't have enough to cast that right now, but it can help us later on. Let's do Entomb on his turn. this time <clears throat> and what are we looking for I guess Dragon Lord Tarka no Frost Titan to tap down his lands so he can't storm off that's probably the best one uh, who's the other guy oh the Sphinx flying for strike vigilance lifelink that's probably better because if he's going storm then Return the top card of your graveyard onto the battlefield. Uh, do we want it to die though? Or do we just want to push for five? I think we can just do this. Might as well. Get some damage in. Playland. Putrid Imp to discard something. Yep, we'll keep this at the top. And then let's cast Living uh, Shallow Grave. Ten to twenty-six. He's going to storm off soon, though, right? Hmm. Hmm. That, that discard outlet too, which I don't really need. I should probably probably should have bought him that card. 
kind of nice that I have 26 health, so if his, his card is like Tendrils, then he's going to have to do a lot more. And he only has three cards in hand. Is a four five. All right. So one thing I can do here is living death seems like it's a waste. Um, discard a card. Put putrid uh, putrid imp gains flying talent to turn. I think we just passed the turn here because the other thing we can do is living death which moves his creatures to the graveyard uh oh wait no i don't have enough mana for living death i need one more mana so let's just get the imp imp in play and pass the turn Hate facing storm. Show and tell would be awesome if we can just get one of my other guys. So, what is this? I get to choose. Put the top. Whoa. What's going on? Choose an all card to return to the owner's hand. Balsalt Monolith or Mind's Desire. What's my, shuffle your library, then act the top card of your library until you end the turn where you play that card without paying his mana cost. Storm. Well, let's just give him that then. Swamp. We can do Living Death, which doesn't really... Okay, so I can attack with this and then cast Living Death to put his stuff in the graveyard. That seems all right. Attack with both of these guys. Okay, that's probably the best move. Uh... Hopefully he blocks the Skulker to try to get his card back. Okay. And now we can cast Living Death. So that goes in the graveyard, the amp, and then I get my skulker back. Oh, don't! Alright. Oh, because he doesn't want me to take Thirst for Knowledge. I see. And then I guess when this comes back, I can choose another card in his hand to toss away. Mox Jet, Balsal Monolith, or Mystical Tutor. Yeah, Mystical Tutor seems like the pick here. We're done. Scrubland. Attack. I feel like his hand isn't too great.
Exile target creature. All right. I'm just going to win by chipping away at him. He hasn't played the monolith. Exile target creature. He has five health left. Mox Jet. I think I'm getting kind of unlucky with my, my draws here. Oh boy. And I think this is where he wins. Well, let's see him storm off. I could source the plowshares if he puts this guy in the battlefield. Mine's desire. Not sure. Oh, he's looking for upheaval? Okay. What is he trying to do? Shuffle your library, the next little top card of your until that you may play that card without paying the mana cost. Oh. So he can play like upheaval and all this crazy nonsense. Wait, these are exiles, right? Oh, tendrils. Man. All right. Upheaval doesn't do much against me, though. I'm confused. But he can play all the other cards, too. Tendrils, right? Oh boy. Oh boy. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. You can do twelve damage to me. All right. So if it actually gets to my turn, what can I do? Play a land, go. I'll play this, I guess this guy. Uh, can I just yield to this? I was like, just pass until another turn. Stop passing. Um, Last turn, six. Fourteen to seventeen. All right, so he stormed off, but and these cards are exiled. So he's not going to be able to cast these, right? Right, so he can't, unless he has something else where it's like you can play exiled cards. So maybe he's just stormed off and... What's all this stuff? I survived his storm. Sweet. All right. So I think I just play my tapped land and play my tapped land and say go. Uh, oh, scry one, put this on the bottom. 
And I can discard, uh, let's discard a swamp and a plains. How many cards do I have? Nine, eight, seven. That was a decent amount of people from him, though. He has lots of, uh, he has lots of stuff there. So something that costs two, the Skulker. Uh, so I would have to play this Plain Swamp. What card does he have in his hand? Oh, is he going to counter this? Or is he just going to play a card that he doesn't want me to get rid of? Anticipate, look top three cards and put them in your hand. All right. What else is he looking for for Storm? Because those cards are exiled, so he can't do anything with it. The only thing I'm worried about now is if I have show and tell, I don't want him to be able to show and tell an annoying creature or something that's in the way. So what do I steal? He has 14 cards left. Target player just three cards. He's gonna like mull himself or mill himself. Show me your hand. Gristlebrand. Oh man, that's definitely. I'm just glad uh, I didn't do show and tell and then he would do Gristlebrand. But oh, he has damnation. I think the obvious choice here is Gristlebrand. Yeah. Although I could have gotten rid of it. Good to know that he has he has damnation. Uh, all right, let's pass. Pass the turn. He has 10 cards left, up 24. So Damnation is something I have to be conscious of. What was the other thing I saw? Um, Mystical Tutor. But really, what is he looking for? Tons of his cards are exiled. Where's all my, where's all my actual cards? Sword of Warm Peace. He has seven cards. This is. Uh, you know what? Maybe that's this is how I get there. Uh, all right, I'm prepared for this. Uh, whatever doesn't matter. Oh, I forgot about the equip cost. Maybe he'll do damnation now. Oh, and then he gets Gristlebrand back, but that's okay because I can source a plowshares Gristlebrand. Yeah. It's all right. He has Gristlebrand back. Can he cast it? No, because then he needs. Oh, shoot, he can. But I can source a plowshare it. And he has a, he's at nine cards. <whistles> animate dead. I have nothing to animate. I can animate my Skulker. And then get put Gristle Brand back. And equip. Can I do all that? I have one, two, three, four mana. I need five mana. So I can't do all that. Let's get the Skulker back in play.
<laughs> it's funny that I'm cheating in. I had to cheat in the Tide Elvis Skulker. This many times, it's crazy. And I'm gonna take Gristlebrand back. Is there any other card I'm worried about? Oh my gosh, Shogunless Bargain! And Brain Freeze. Hmm. I don't know what to take here. Brain Freeze. <sighs> Gristle Brand I can deal with. Young Lost Bargain. Uh, he will just do Damnation again, which is okay. Is there anything else that is dangerous from his graveyard? There's some knowledge, I don't think so. Okay. I think... Am I worried about Brain Freeze? I think so. Let's get rid of Brain Freeze. <laughs> and pass the turn. Oh, I do my equip cost? Might as well equip it as well. All right. This... This is such a crazy back and forth game. Gristle Dad. It's fine. Source of plowshares. So he'll lose life equal to the amount of cards in his hand, which is five. And it's three, it's a three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, let's toss a planes in. Let's swords this. But now we can play Yagma's Will, right? And then play Gristlebrand next turn. Shoot, I didn't think of that. Hmm. I have a lot of um, removal left though, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully I get a removal. He can't, what is he looking for? He has seven cards left. Oh, he probably wants to get Brain Freeze back, so he's going to try to deal with... He has... Oh, no, Damnation's gone. Ah, so now he can use Damnation. Kill my guy, get Brain Freeze back, and do his Brain Freeze combo. It's probably what's going to happen here. What is he losing health for? Oh. Wait, he's bringing himself down to... One card draw? Wait, zero cards, okay. But he just wants to be able to cast spells to storm off. He has seven. Wow! Yes! Oh man! That's awesome! Alright, I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quickly, but <laughs> I'm surprised we won that game. Uh, I don't think there's any changes I want to make. I'm happy with my removals. Although he doesn't, he only has like one creature. So is there anything? But there's nothing I can really put in. Um, Painful Truths will help me draw cards. Uh, destroy target permanent. See, so I can take his lands out and his artifacts. Uh, artifacts. 
artifacts. That did really well. Um, he has a gristle brand, so that's good to get rid of that. I think we just keep the hand as it is. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. So we're doing okay for lands. We have an entomb. We have a show and tell. Oh, this is fantastic. We just need a blue land. Um. Okay, we will keep this. I think this is just a win. We can animate dead. Um, now on his end step. Oh, no, he was first, okay. So, swamp, um, and pass the turn. And we'll cast in tomb and then animate dead next turn. So we should animate dead. Um, what are we going to animate dead here? Is the Sphinx better? Or this guy? No, not that. Either the Sphinx or Atarka's in her hand. Frost Titan just taps his stuff down. Sphinx gives us life. I think the Titan just for tapping his lands down so he can't do stuff. Let's try that. Play our Scrubland. Um, play Animate Dead. Frost Titan. Come to the battlefield, tap. Uh, probably his island. And then we can pass the turn. And then we can, hopefully we get an island next turn. Nope. Three man, nothing to do with it. Come on, island. That's not an island. No more lands, please. Give me something like the Skulker or... Ooh, Battle Ball. Stop with the lands! Okay, for what can he do? Um, whenever he attacks, he may tap it. But there's no point of attacking because he's. Right, 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 right. Uh, shoot. Attack him and tap some stuff down. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. How do I cancel? Uh, stop passing five. Okay, now can he block with. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So you could kill this. Um, whenever Frost Titan, whenever Frost Titan becomes target of his ability, whenever he enters battlefield or attacks, tap target permanent. So I could tap the battle ball, and then you could block with one, two, three, four. Tap the battle ball. We'll just jump with one, alright.
Wow, he's abandoned his um right, here's an island. This does show and tell, and then we have this guy. Flying trample. Five damage as you choose, so we can three. That seems decent. Flying and trample. Wait, where did Gristlebrand come from? Oh, shoot. Five. That's three, four, So if I attack with Frost Titan, tap his Gristle Brand. <sighs> can tap that down, attack with this. Okay, main phase. Done. So just block with this. All right. So I can attack with a Tarka next turn. Don't think I'll block the Battle Sphere. Eh, maybe. It's because I don't think he has anything that's like deal four damage to. It. Hmm. Is that flying? It does. And death touch. Okay. Is he still playing his brain freeze and stuff? If you have muscle wills in there, it probably is. Uh hmm. Storm Count is five. What's up with these lands? Yes! Oh, awesome. That was a good match. All right. How does this look? Um, <clears throat> Putrid Emperor discard outlet. Uh, we're doing... 